Saturday morning, I've had my windscreen fixed already today. The guy was uh, early. It was great. It was about uh, 8.15 in the morning. That got, took about 45 minutes. The sad news is that he could not uh, have a cup of coffee or a tea and he couldn't take a cash tip from me. So times are changing. In 20 minutes, I am having a conference with my buddy to practice some of this Zoom technology. I want to try out my uh, Rode wireless microphone, see how that sounds. also thought I would do something about the background, it looks a bit... So let's see how I can fix this up in 15 minutes, shall we? It's about 7.30 at night and I finished my first Zoom meeting and it went really well actually. I'm hopeful. It felt really good to earn some money today, for sure. Unfortunately, this beach is closed now. There is nobody on it. Except locals. We're allowed to for local. And by the way, not only am I not at my biking stone, I'm not even on my normal bike. Look at my bike. I've got, I've got my new little folding bike. It is so much fun. Sunsets on another day of lockdown. Off to the supermarket. Now, I, I am a bit nervous about it actually, just because I'm not looking forward to going to a place and having to spend two hours and being in contact with people that might be ill. But then I think of the grocery people that go to work every day in the grocery store. So Karen, get a grip. How I have equipped myself, I'm gonna wear these gloves. They're not plastic, but they are a barrier. I also have some of this. I'm gonna squeeze on the my glove. I don't wanna take it out of the car because I want it to stay clean. I also have this that I'm going to wear. Now it's not a, obviously a surgical mask or anything, but I've been having this discussion with people for a while, specifically my one daughter. And it is true, the CDC and other organizations said masks aren't going to protect you. And I see that to a certain point. However, this conflicts with the advice, which is act as if you have the virus. Because quite frankly, nobody knows if they do in such a long incubation period. Now, if I have the virus, the information is you should wear a mask. So if I'm going to act as if I have the virus, I should be wearing a mask. I don't have a mask, but at least I have this. It is some protectant. I don't have a cough and I don't have a sneeze, so that is something. I've got my list. Remember, I haven't been for two weeks, so it's fairly long. 
got my bags and the number one thing that has to be remembered is when you go out to get your food, remember you're covered in glitter when you come back. So everything is to be treated as if it's covered in glitter. I saw a great video of a doctor talking about how to handle your food when you come back from the grocery store and that has really stuck in my head. It's stuck in my head because I've had daughters and glitter goes everywhere. Not fond memories at all. <laughs> I don't miss the glitter years. <laughs> Okay, off I go, off I go. I can do this. Now the other thing that's quite interesting, of course, is that I have, oops, just things here. I have not been in my car. Gosh, maybe for a week. Remember, I live on the road. I'm in my car all the time. The good news is I cleaned out the inside of my car last week. What a joy it is coming in a nice clean car. I love that feeling. The roads are completely deserted. Isn't it a weird concept that we have to prepare ourselves to go grocery shopping like this. One good thing that happened um, two mornings ago, our rubber still got collected. So grateful for that. So grateful. Having to deal with garbage on top of everything else, that'd be tough. They're not letting people into recycle centers. doing this at one o'clock in the afternoon on the Thursday. Two weeks ago when I went, the grocery stores were open at 6 a.m. I checked last night, I planned to go at 6 a.m. again, and it showed that the grocery stores are now open at eight o'clock. Also on Thursdays from nine until 10, the NHS get to access the food. Apparently there's a new way that you pay, you, everybody queues in one long line at the back of the store and then it's kind of like a bank, it's one at a time, you get brought forward. Amazing. There's like 10 cars in the road and there's still the a-hole that cuts me off at a roundabout. Honest to God. Looking at the grocery store, the parking lot is not packed. It's busy. I don't know why I'm so nervous. I am. I think I'm nervous because I've got to get stuff and I think I'm nervous because I'm not going to be able to get it. That's what I'm nervous about. Okay, I don't see a big queue outside the store. That was one thing I was fearing. Let's see if I can park at my favorite spot. I'm a slight superstitious person, <laughs> which goes against everything in my logical head. Still no cow fall. Mm. I did it. Right then, finish the grocery shopping. I think I look a little frazzled. That was okay. It took me two hours. It took me two hours to do. There's a way that you have to go through the store with the arrows and I did cheat a couple of times and then somebody said, no, you can't go down that way. You have to go all the way around. So if you just want one thing, you gotta go down all the way down one aisle and then come back up on yourself to get the thing. That takes a bit of an extra time. Also, I had a list from my daughter and I had a few things to pick up for my friends, so I'm, I wasn't 100% sure of where the things were that they wanted. And they have switched things around in the store, clearly. They're trying to make it more logical, but I got everything on my list, except for Oreo cookies. You're limited to three items per thing. Off to home, I'm dropping off the frozen stuff outside the door, or my daughter's gonna wash off all the frozen stuff, and I'm gonna drop my stuff off at my friends and then come back home. I'm just gonna take an age 
to wash everything to put it away but hey it's got to be done and I'm gonna do it and we're eating well tonight <laughs> going home no I'm not I have to go get some fuel I'm uh, a bit low on fuel and I don't like that just in case I ever have to drive somewhere also there's a, a little lay-by where the police are pulling people over and when I go back home because there is actually I live just across the border of um, two jurisdictions and so they're placed literally on that border and I just wonder why they're pulling people over I hope they don't pull me over because um, I instinctively argue with police officers <laughs> hazard of the job <laughs> so I have to watch myself don't I I'm wondering what the uh, criteria are for pulling people over they're pulling me over oh my gosh Karen stay calm don't argue with them Hi there, I'm good. I think they were checking the vehicle behind you for the van. They were. Everything all right? Yeah, everything's great. Everything with you? Yeah, good purpose of travel. I live in... Where have you been? I dropped off food for a friend of mine. Oh yeah, fine. Yeah. There we are. All okay, right? Okay, great. Thanks very Take much. Okay. <laughs> I had a feeling. Oh my God, my hair. I want to do social distancing with myself. 